Hello, boys and girls. So today we're going to be reading some words. And remember, like we talked today in class, our words are going to be longer words that, than we're used to. So far, we've been reading short words, and now we're working our way to reading longer words. Are you ready? Okay. Before we get started, I need to remind you a couple of things. We're going to be focusing on our vowels today. Say that with me. Vowels. Our alphabet has five vowels. Say them with me. What sound does it make? A, A, apple. E, E, elephant. E, E, iguana. A, A, octopus. And A, A, umbrella. Okay, let's go through those sounds again. So these sounds are their short sounds. Do that with me. These are their short sounds. Vowels make a short and a long sound. A short and a long sound. The sounds that we're going over today are their short sound. So this sounds like a, ah, say them with me again. A, ah, eh, I don't hear you. I, a, uh, uh. okay? So these are sounds. These up here are, are, were, are letters too, right? And these letters make sounds also. But all these other letters, you see the ones that are not in red? All these other letters are called consonants. And when we put consonants together with our vowels, we can make words. For example, I can make the word p. A, n, pan. Do you see that? I take my sounds and I make a word. How many vowels? How many vowels does this word have? Remember, vowels are our red ones. A, e, e, a, u. How many vowels do you see in this word? I see one vowel. Ah, okay, so we have the vowel ah. Today, we're going to be looking at words. So let me share my screen here with you. You're gonna need this book. We used it in class in the morning also. And you're gonna find, uh oh, I just lost my page. You're gonna find, we did page 13 in class. So right behind it, we're gonna do page 14, right behind it. We had page 13, turn to page 14, okay? And it looks like this. So we have some words here and we're gonna have to do two things with these words two things. First, we have to figure out how many syllables these words have. Do they have one syllable or two syllables? Remember, a syllable is a chunk of sounds. Say that with me. A syllable is a chunk of sounds. So a syllable is not a sound. It's a chunk of sounds, okay? So we're gonna see how many chunks are in these words. Is there one chunk or two chunks? One syllable or two syllables? And then we're gonna see which vowel sound these words have. We're gonna check off the vowel sounds and if they have more than one vowel sound, we're gonna check off more than one sound. Okay, ready? Let's get started. This is our first word. It says step. So say that word with me, step. Okay, we have a couple of ways of figuring out how many vowels it has. Remember, we can close our lips and see how many breaths we feel, or we can do a silla stomp, okay? A syllable stomp where we lightly tap our desk to see how many syllables or chunks of sounds it has. Okay, let's get started. Step, so let's say, Step, step, how many syllables do you hear? How many chunks? Step, 
I hear one. So we're going to circle the one. Okay, then we have our vowel sounds. A for apple. E for, ooh, what is that? Oh, edge. That's like the edge of the dice. So apple, edge, itch, octopus, or up. Okay, so I hear a, apple, e, edge, i, itch, a, octopus, and a, up. So first we found how many vowels, how many chunks, and now we're going to see which, we saw how many syllables. I'm sorry, guys, I'm going to confuse you. We saw how many syllables. Remember, syllables are chunks. And now we're going to see how many vowels our word has, or which vowels our word has. Step. Which vowel do we hear? Don't look at the letter. Just listen to the sound. Step. Does it sound like a, e, e, a, or a? Step. Step. St. E, p, e, e, e. I hear e, e, e like edge. So I'm going to put a check mark here. Okay, let's try our next word. This word says picnic. Picnic. First, we have to see how many syllables, so how many chunks of sounds it has. All right, let's try. Let's try our closed mouth now. Okay, ready? We're going to say the word picnic. How many? How many breaths did you feel like you had to let out? Two. I felt two. Did you feel two also? So the word picnic has two syllables. Okay. Now, which vowel sounds do we hear in picnic? Picnic. Picnic. Do we hear the a ah sound in there? Do we hear the e eh sound? Do we hear the i sound? Yeah, I hear i i in p i ik n i ik. So we're gonna put a check in the i part. All right, let's try number three. Bathtub. Okay, let's try our stomp for this one. We're gonna figure out how many syllables. How many chunks of sounds it has? Okay, ready? We're gonna say the word and stomp. Bathtub, bathtub. How many times did we stomp our hand? Bathtub, bathtub. Two times. So this has two syllables, two chunks, right? Our words are chunked in bathtub. Bath, one chunk is bath, and another chunk is tub, bathtub. All right, now let's see which vowel sounds we hear. Do we hear a, e, e, a, or a? Uh? B, a, tub. Which vowel sounds do we hear? I hear a, b. A, like apple, bath-tub, tub. What sound do we hear? Does it sound like e, eh, i, eh, a, ah, or a? Uh? Like a, uh, tub. Good job. Okay, here goes our last one. Ready? Okay. I'm going to stomp this one again. The word is radish. Ready? We're going to stomp it. See how many syllables, chunks of sounds there are. Radish. 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 Do it one more time. Radish. Radish. How many times did we have to stomp? Two times. So that means that the word radish has two chunks. It has ra dish. Ra dish. Those are the two chunks. 
Now we have to see which vowel sounds we hear. Do we hear a, e, e, a, or a? Uh? Remember, we can hear more than one sound in there. Ra, dish. Do we hear a uh, in there? I hear a uh, when I say ra, dish. So we're going to give it a check mark. But I hear another vowel sound in there. Ra, dish. Ra, d, i, sh. Do I say radosh? No. Radush? No. Rad, like itch? Yeah, I hear the i sound in there too, so we're going to give it a check mark. Okay, boys and girls, you're going to do two more on your own, okay? We're going to do number one, circle number one. And you're going to do number three, circle number three. I'm going to read the word to you, and then you're going to decide how many syllables, how many chunks, and which vowel sounds you hear. Okay, let's try it. The first word is rash. So you can either close your lips or you can do the stomp to figure out how many syllables you hear. How many syllable chunks do you hear? Ready, go. Okay, maybe you hear one or two. I don't know. And then I want you to put a check mark on the vowel sound that you hear. Do you hear a, e, i, a? Or uh, what sound do you hear? Remember, you can mark more than one if you hear more than one vowel sound, but I don't know. Okay, here goes number three. Remember, we're gonna skip number two and we're gonna go straight to number three. Number three says bandit, bandit. So you're gonna go through loop or you're gonna stomp it out to find out how many syllables, how many chunks. Ready, go. Do you hear one or two? Mm, circle the one you hear. And then do you hear an A? Ah? And e, e, a, or a uh, sound. Hmm, mark the ones you hear. Okay, boys and girls, and that's it. You're going to do two of them, and that is it. All righty. All right, boys and girls, take, take a picture of this. We're not going to do any other ones, okay? Just numbers one and number three and the ones we did together. That's it. Turn in your picture.